a bacon wrapped stuffed brats on a trailer grill. My name is RJ and this is Beginner Barbecue Outdoors. So I saw this recipe be done by the master himself, Malcolm Reed. He did this and I thought it was so good and I figured let's try it in here and see how easy it is to make stuffed brats wrapped in bacon. So we got our Johnsonville brats, some string cheese, cause that's what he used. We got our bacon and our fresh jalapenos that we're gonna stuff them in there. Let's get this going. All right, so we have our brats here and we're gonna use our Kajoku knife to give these guys a cut. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them in the middle, not all the way through, just enough to open them, to stuff them in there. Look at that, oh. So, with a bit of opening, just enough to get them open like, just like that. So we're gonna do the same on all four of these, the rest of the four, and we'll be back. All right, so here we have it. Let's go ahead and get one of these string cheese ready. So I don't think we're gonna use the whole thing, so we're gonna cut them in half. All right, so we're gonna put half a piece of string cheese inside. All right, so let's get our fresh pepper cut. So we're just gonna cut them just like this. Just like that, a nice piece. It's gonna go right in the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest, add the cheese and the peppers and we'll be back. Now that we have our mozzarella cheese, our fresh peppers in there, now we're gonna wrap these in bacon. So before we wrap in bacon, let's try to see if we can close it up, close them up as best as we can. It's not gonna fully close because now it has all this stuff inside, but it's okay. So just like that, just kind of close it in there. Now we're gonna add our bacon in there. So I think it's gonna use two pieces of bacon. There's our first piece. And now we're gonna do our last piece. And just like that, we have it done and ready. So now we're gonna do the rest and we'll be back. All right guys, here you have it. They're all done and ready. Now we're gonna transfer in one of these to make it really easy to grab them off the grill. So let's go ahead and put them in there. Should all be able to fit there, just like that. All right, so we have our Traeger at 350 degrees. That's how the great Malcolm Reed had it. So I'm gonna do the same thing he did it. That way they come out just like his. They look delicious and I'm excited to try it. So let's go ahead and fire up our Traeger. Our Traeger's at 350 degrees. Let's go add these in here. And I'll be back in about 30 minutes to see where they're at. I mean, we forgot to add the rub, Killer's Hogs barbecue rub. So we're gonna go bring this back out and just uh, add it on top. Good to go. All right, it's been 35 minutes and these are ready to come out. Okay guys, so here you have it. So before we get into this, let's have a quick recap of what we did today.
I totally forgot about adding the rub on top of the bacon before we did it in there. So I added it in there right on time. But I always remember, add the rub at the end and put it back in there and put it in there at the beginning. So I got the favorite outdoor rolls. I think it's going to be perfect for these guys. And grab this one. Ah, oh, man. You know it's going to be good. So now this is something I just realized. Am I the only one? Do I put mayonnaise on top instead of in the bottom? Okay, I see every, almost everybody puts mayonnaise on the bottom. I like to put it on top. Let me know what you guys do because it seems like I'm the only one that does it. You got to add, love adding some relish. Oh man, the sweet relish is it, good. Then we're going to add some ketchup. And of course, we got to add some mustard. And just like that. So now I'm, I'm excited to try this. Like I said, we, we saw this at Killer Hogs Barbecue. Um, we saw this on How to Barbecue Right with Malcolm Reed. He did this. I saw it and I was like, ooh, that's going to look good. So I figured I'd give it a try. Let's go. Mmm. It's so good. You can see a little bit of cheese. The peppers. Perfect. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.